Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Round 9. And if you'd like to post your take on today's sketch, use hashtag 30DSCBL9 on Instagram, or just post it in the Facebook group so we can see it. This is a sketch for today, and it was created by Kristen, who is scrapping on the fly here on YouTube. And she's also one of the ones that has done a video and layout a day. I'm scrapping these two photos of Hope, and the way I had them held was the way I planned on putting them on the layout, but I didn't pay attention, so they're the opposite. I'm showing the dies for my title and alphas, plus some of the things I planned on putting on, some don't make it, of course, and my background's going to be this popcorn paper, and this, is, this collection is Simple Stories Family Fun. The layout has like a strip of paper down at the bottom. I wanted to use that striped paper, but when I started to pull it out, it was not 12 inches. So I had to change it to something that was. And this uh, star one with the darker background is, and of course the tickets are, I cut all the tickets out. Planning on either using them as a border or to continue fussy cutting on them and use them individually. And this one made it as a border. The photos, as you can see in the sketch, are catty corner to each other, but it looks like it has a cut file below it. I don't have any cut files. I do have die cuts from my dies. But none of them were very big, so I thought, well, what can I do to make them look bigger? And my first thought was to put that viewfinder, well, picture wheel, it's Tim Holtz picture wheel, in the center and then put two photo strips coming out from it. But then I changed my mind. I'm going to embellish the bottom left-hand corner with other things instead of the film strip. I put the, uh, the view, uh, picture wheel down first, and then I thought, you know, I think I'd like some color behind it, so I put some of the darker teal. Now, the film strip I planned on using was already cut out and laying in with my camera stuff, and I, I, I forgot all about showing the dye. That's why it got a, a cameo appearance right there, and it's by Tawny. The picture wheel was cut out in advance, too. It was I have a whole stack of them. But I actually remembered to show it this time. I don't think I did on the last one that I used it on. There are some clappers in this collection, but I wanted a bigger one. So I decided to throw one together. I thought, if I can find me some black diagonal paper, I will. And this is from a 3 by 4 Simple Stories card. And I just cut a couple of strips and I made sure the um, angles matched, even though you can't tell it so much once it's open. I wanted to make sure they matched when it was closed. And yeah, it's, it's about the right size for what I'm wanting it for. I'm just wanting it for a background for the food. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting food on the layout. And that burger was making me hungry while I did it. My title's going to be made with Simple Stories Marquee, and it does have two layers. And I'm just laying them here, and one has little tiny dots, so I wanted yellow beneath it. So they'd show up just a little bit better than some of the other colors would have. It does not show where the title's at in the layout, but I said go ahead and put it down here since my word was so long. Originally, I planned on putting it up there where that film strip is. That's why I didn't glue it down. But then I got to thinking, it's not going to fit. I use this tiny type. I am thinking it's jelly bean soup. I'm thinking I'm not going to guarantee it. But I'm putting waiting on showtime. And the photos are of Hope. And we were at one of Charlie's plays and waiting for the uh, show to start. And... I planned on putting the closer up one in the bottom right and the other one up in the left because she is farther away. But as you can see, I didn't pay attention to what I was doing and they're the opposite. And I went ahead and left it as that. I thought about going in and changing them. But 
by the time I got in there, all I did was add a couple of things to the back of the chair. I embellished the back of the chair instead of having that big empty spot there. So the very last photo, you will see that because I did not notice this until I got done with the actual editing and was ready to do the voiceover. But yeah, it's going to be embellished. But the pictures are going to still be in the same place. If that other one wasn't a little fuzzy, I didn't do a very good job taking that picture. I would have went ahead and done it, but I thought, well, the one in the bottom in the foreground is clearer, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. On the picture on the left, Hope was sitting next to me. <laughs> And then the picture of uh, the right, she was sitting in front of me. She had to visit everybody more than once before the play actually started. Once it started, she sat next to me. The center of my picture wheel looked a little on the plain side. So I thought I'd add that camera. It was a circle. And it was in the ephemera. And then that little ticket. It says a dollar, but, you know, I kind of tucked that part in. But it says special event. So since Charlie was in the play, it is special event. I changed out my film strip for black. I, Of course, of course, I waited till I put liquid glue on it. And went ahead and put it down. As soon as I did, I thought, oh, I think I'd rather this be black. So I popped it up really quick and wiped the glue off. You might still see it if you look hard enough and close enough, but I don't think anybody is going to. Uh, the upper right-hand corner has a little banner with a heart. I decided I'd put something, well, I thought I'd put a ticket with the stars. And I'd gotten labels out because I thought, well, if I'm doing some laboring, laboring, a <laughs> label, layering. Let's get this right. <laughs> if I'm going to do some layering, I might want some. And they were with the tickets. I have them in a container with the tickets. And that's where the special event one came from. It didn't come from this collection. And so I pulled a few out. I'm not going to use them all. But I had enough just in case. I used these stars, these dies, because they had the same marquee look as the title those however i do like them a lot so i might have used them anyway uh i needed a few more and i didn't want to get the dies back out so i'm just using my ek success punch to make those few more but while i am doing that and adding my enamel dots because i think those are the only things i have left to do i want to mention that down there below will be the links to everybody that's doing the christie's beautiful life 30 days of sketches round nine and as always not all of them will have a video every single day but there are several that are like i mentioned Kristen is one of them and guess what i've made it if i can get tomorrow's done I do have the next day's done. I have the last day's done. But if I get tomorrow's done, I got all 30 days too. I did not want to commit since I messed up back in, back in December on 12 days of Christmas. I thought 30 days. I really, really hate to say it till I get close. So hopefully one more day of getting the layout done and a video done and out. I'll be set because I won't have to worry about the next one. But let's see where I'm at on the layout. Oh, I'm still putting stars on there. Yeah, I might have got a little carried away, but y'all know I like more. And I like those stars. And since Charlie was going to be the star of the show, I wanted to have plenty of stars on there. Well, technically she wasn't the star of the show, except in our eyes. And, you know, I counted all the family that was there in friends 38 so yeah she had plenty of support in the audience but this was a super fun sketch to create with although i did not have a cut file uh i may do there was something in that area <laughs> and uh yeah and my title down at the bottom i think the prompt was something like half and half well i certainly failed there my 
half didn't go all the way up. But I haven't been doing the prompts anyway since I had some videos without them to start with before I knew about them. And there is my clapper that is just the right size for what I wanted it. And there's those stars, those marquee stars. I know that that die set is called something else. If you need to know, just mention it down there below and I will double check on that. Um, there's the picture wheel and the special event and a <laughs> little hope. She she was eating something. I don't remember what it was. I'm thinking Cheetos. No, no, no. Cheese it's Cheese it's It was the little square things. And there's the film strip with the stars up there. And this is the final layout coming up. No, I had to show that again at <laughs> a different angle, I guess. So the next one is, well, technically it was the final photo for the, lay, uh, the layout creation process. But here is the one with the back of the chair embellished and it says making memories with the family and a ticket that says admit one. Yeah, uh, I, I just had to go ahead and add that even though I didn't change the pictures. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you who already are, thank you so much. And thank you all for watching my video. I appreciate that too. And all the comments that you leave. They make my day. Have a happy scrappy week. Have fun. Try the sketches. Bye.